Hello everyone, welcome to the Web Design Help Series for the XR Web Designer software where I answer questions for viewers and subscribers. In this particular case, I'm going to be answering a question of how to change the pre-built navigation menu by our mouse over state for the background and the text. And the reason that I'm making this video is because they ran into an issue where they're not able to change it and I can personally relate to that. I've had the same issue. I'm not sure if this is something that is wrong with the software or if it's a user error. So if you are watching this video, I am going to demonstrate what the issue is first and then I'm going to show how to kind of work around that issue. So if you see this video and you're having a big issue with this, please send a link to exar.com and under their support section and show them the video so that they can see a visual of what the issue is and they can tell you if it's something that is a user issue, maybe I'm making a mistake, maybe you are or if it's actually a software issue where they need to make an update or a patch to fix this problem. So with that being said, let's go ahead and show what the problem is first. So the first thing that I'm going to do within the XAR Web Designer 365 Premium software, if you have that version, you'll be able to follow exactly alone. If not, you may have to make some adaptions uh, to you know follow the same process that I'm doing. In this case, I'm going to go to the Insert menu, and then I'm going to choose From Content Catalog. That's going to bring up our content catalog and in this menu you're going to want to type you know navigation into the search box if you already have navigation typed in there and you hit the enter key you should see all the navigation uh, menu options so in this case i've already typed everything in so i don't need to do that so if you haven't done that make sure you do that so once you see all the navigation menu options go ahead and pick one in this case i'm going to choose the vertical nav bar so click on import for that and once you have the navigation menu in your workspace let's go ahead and right click on it and click the option that says edit navigation bar and under the navigation bar properties we're going to choose pop-up menu style and once you click on that you should see the pop-up menu style dialog and under this this is where we're going to change the mouse over state for the for the pre-built navigation menu bar or at least we should be able to so in this case let's go ahead and select the menu background for the mouse over state by clicking on the edit key that's off to the right of it and then we're going to change that to red and then for the menu for the text for the mouse over state we're going to change that so let's go ahead and click on the edit button that's to the far right of that and we're going to change that to maybe a dark gray and close that out hit the OK key hit the OK key one more time hit F5 and when we preview this if we place our cursor over any of these buttons you'll notice that it did not change anything that we made in that navigation menu properties dialog. So to work around this, my suggestion is that you right click on the navigation menu and select edit navigation bar and then we're going to ungroup this by clicking on the ungroup to edit graphics. Once you ungroup everything, the next thing you want to do is go to your page and layer gallery and expand that so you can see the layers and under the the layers you want to look for the option that says mouse over and we're going to click on the red icon to show that particular layer. So once you do that, the next thing that you want to do is zoom in on this so you can see it a little bit easier. And you may not have to zoom in depending on what the resolution of your computer is. I just hit the Z key on my keyboard to change it to the zoom key and then you can either click once or drag and select around the buttons to zoom it in a bit further. So once you do that, let's go ahead and select the selection tool in our toolbar. and We're going to double left click on one of the backgrounds for the mouse over state. And once you double left click on it, hit control E to bring up the color editor and then change it to whatever color you want. In this case, I'll make it a dark gray. And then we're going to go ahead and hit the Control C key to copy that particular button background. And then we're going to select the selection tool in our toolbar. And we're going to double left click on the orange background for the next button. So double left click on that. And then hit Control Shift A to paste the attributes from the first button. Okay? And we're going to repeat that process one more time. Select the selection tool, double left click on the orange background. Hit Control Shift A to paste the attribute, and now we have all the buttons changed for the mouse over state. The next thing we're going to do is go to our text tool in the toolbar and left click on the text for the first button. Hit Control A to select everything, and then we're going to go to our font menu and we're going to change it to whatever text we want it to be. So in this case, I'll choose Advent Pro and it's going to change that text. So let's go ahead and hit Control C to copy that particular text and we're going to paste those attributes for the next button. So left click 
inside the second button text. Hit Control A to select everything. Hit Control Shift A to paste the attribute. And repeat that same process in the third button. Control A to select everything. Control Shift A to paste the attribute. Now since I'm working with Xar Web Designer 365 Premium, when I change the button text on the mouse over state, it's going to automatically change it on the mouse off state. If you're using a different version or a previous version of Xar, this may not be the case. So you want to check your mouse off layer if you're not using version 365 Premium. So let me show you that the text on the, on the mouse off state is the exact same as the text on the mouse over state by clicking on the, the hide icon for the mouse over state. So when I hide that, you can see that the text on the bottom has changed. However, the background color has not changed. Only the text would be updated in this case, okay? So let's go ahead and, and open up the mouse over layer again and unhide that so we can see everything. And with the selection tool selected, we're going to go ahead and drag over all these buttons. Or you can hit Control A if you don't have any other elements in your website. And you can select all the, the buttons for this particular menu. However, most likely you're probably going to be working with a website that has other content in it so I would recommend that you drag and select all of those buttons once you select everything go ahead and right click on it and we're going to select the option that says create navigation bar and you'll get the create navigation bar menu and we want to keep the first option selected because it's going to keep all the buttons in this navigation menu the same if you want a different you know setup you could do that by selecting one of the other options but I'm assuming in most cases you want all your buttons to look the same. So let's go ahead and hit create. And that's going to recreate that navigation menu. And if we hit OK, and hit F5 to preview it, and we place our cursor over any of these buttons, you'll see that it indeed did change the background color. And also the text style is different than what it was previously. So hopefully that was a, you know, good workaround for solving this problem at least for right now until we find out what's actually going on. So I hope that this video was helpful and if it was don't forget to embed, comment, share, and subscribe and stay tuned for future videos.